The level of fear we feel in any particular situation is driven by a complex process in our brains that we're only just beginning to fully understand. Phobias are an example of a fear response that's running out of control. Here at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, they're trying to help people with phobias. And by studying the intricate neural mechanisms involved in fear, they've discovered a way we might be able to control them. OK, so we will start the first test. You will see images. This will go on for around six minutes. Professor Frederick Ars looks at how people's brains respond when they're shown a series of images. <laughs> When they see something they're scared of, the scanner picks up activity in the part of our brain that processes emotions, the amygdala. OK, so this is the amygdala lighting up in subjects who are afraid of the picture they're looking at in the right. scanner. The amygdala lets you respond to things very quickly, even before you're consciously aware that you see something that's dangerous. Remarkably, part of our unconscious brain, the amygdala, is responding nearly half a second before we consciously perceive the threat. It's a shortcut that allows the body to be primed for action without having to wait for our conscious brain to fully assess the situation. But this powerful instinctive response is only useful if it can be controlled. And that requires another part of the brain. Then, <clears throat> once you're aware of it, the prefrontal cortex, which is uh, in front of your brain, can come along. And this part tells the amygdala to quieten down. So is that what bravery is? Is this bravery, basically? Is bravery your prefrontal cortex going, I know you're afraid, but we're going to do it anyway? Yeah, exactly. So you could think of <clears throat> the prefrontal cortex as being an, a rider and the amygdala as a horse. And sometimes the horse gets spooked and the rider can still control the horse. Oh, wow. Frederick and his team are using virtual reality to help people learn to control their fears. And for me, that means only one thing. Spiders. This is very weird and creepy. OK. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Well, oh, I don't like that giant electronic that. spiders. <laughs> Where do they go? I'm doing that classic, like, take my feet off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> the idea is that if we're exposed to something we fear and the outcome is safe, this memory can be stored. <laughs> the prefrontal cortex can use a safe memory to initiate the calming of the amygdala and the fear response. <laughs> 